Hey guys, so today's video is going to be an at-home workout video. I just thought that it would be great to show you guys how you can get in a quick, uh, not so easy, but effective and successful workout if you don't have time to go to the gym, if you don't have a gym near you. So um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys some things you can do at home to get your body in shape for the summer and for your swimsuits and everything like that. So if you guys want to learn how to keep your body in shape without leaving your home, then keep watching. I'm just going to show you guys some basic stretches that I like to do before each workout and um, just follow along. So first we're just going to stretch out our torso and our legs a little bit. So you just extend your legs fully. I like to reach to my heels and hold it for about 10 seconds or longer, 15 seconds if you can. So we'll do that right now. Make sure you try to tuck your head as low as you can. All right. So I'll show you guys the next stretch that I like to do. Even though I have a standing desk, I do tend to sit a lot. So it's very important to be as mobile as possible and to move as much as I can throughout the day. So this next stretch that I'm about to show you is great if you sit a lot throughout the day. It really helps to stretch out and lengthen your torso and just to improve mobility and reduce aches and back pains and stuff like that so as you can see I'm just extending one of my legs tucking in my other leg try to extend it as um, to your right or to your left as possible don't do it straight ahead so I'm gonna do it just like this and then kind of like a ballerina I'm gonna reach up and then over and grab the outside of my foot as close to my heel as possible. So just like this. And then I'm going to hold that for about 15 seconds. Alright, and then I'm going to do it on the other side. Alright, so the next stretch I'm going to do is called the butterfly and I learned this stretch when I was in like high school I think. So um, this just stretches out your, are these hamstrings? I'm not really sure but I think they're called hamstrings, pretty much your inner thigh so that's what this next stretch is for. So I'm going to do kind of like a flutter motion, not really a hold motion but you get into this position with your feet. And then you're going to hold your feet together like this and then just kind of bounce your legs as low and as infrequent, like, at, like not drastically, just like this for about 15 seconds. It looks kind of funny, but it's effective. Alright, so we're still in the stretching phase. The next stretch we're going to do is for your torso again, and I learned this stretch in karate when I used to do karate back in middle school. So you extend your leg like this, you take either your right or your left leg, cross it over the leg that is extended on the ground, and then take this arm, put your elbow right here, use it as leverage to kind of push you and then twist, your back will crack a little bit throughout this process, but twist and hold it for about five seconds on each side. All right, and then we'll do some standing stretches. So we'll just do stand up, heel grab like that. 10 seconds, do some more leg stretches, then we'll do this, each side for 10 seconds. This is good if you're about to run on the treadmill or, or take a jog or something like that, it stretches out your hamstrings again. I just like to do a full body stretch because it just gets me feeling nice and limber and warmed up. Alright, 
and then I think after this we are ready to get into our workout. So, the first workout that we're going to do is three sets of 15 push-ups. So, um, you're going to want to try to knock out all of these sets as quick as possible. So don't take too much of a break in between sets, but just try to do it as quick as possible. So let's get into it. Okay, so the next workout is going to be two sets of two minutes of planking. Since this is going to be a kind of quick, easy workout, easy, then we're just going to keep it to two. So let's get into plank formation and I'll show you guys what that is. I have my phone right here to time me. Set our timer to two minutes. I have my blanket here because the floor is hard. Um, so the whole point of planking is basically to work on your abs, your glutes, your arms, your whole body basically. The objective of this workout is to keep your abs tucked in. So you want to make sure that your arms are at a right angle, just like this. And then, like that. Keep your body as straight as possible, your abs tucked in, and then just hold it like that. Think of something happy, motivating. Hold it like that for two minutes. If it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it the right way. Uh. Uh. Okay, so now we're gonna do our final set of planking for two minutes. All right, here we go. Another two minutes. So we finished our two sets of two minutes of planking. Next, we're gonna do two sets of 50 sit-ups. So, I like to do my sit-ups a little bit differently than normal people. Usually I have a medicine ball right here holding down my feet so they don't come up when I'm leaning up for my sit-ups, but I don't have a medicine ball for me today because I'm not at the gym. So, I'm gonna do my best to try to keep my feet to the ground to the best of my ability, and we're gonna get started. When you're doing these, you wanna make sure that your legs right here are staying as close to your butt as possible. You don't wanna be, because you, your butt will move while you're doing these sit-ups, no matter what type of surface you're on, you're gonna move further away from your feet, so you have to periodically move your feet closer to your butt, but you don't wanna be doing sit-ups like this. It just it, it loses the intensity and it's just not as effective. So keep your foot, keep your feet like this, tucked in. I'm gonna do two sets, 50. You don't have to go all the way up, but you just wanna make sure that you're feeling it in your abdominal region. So let's, let's get started. We're coming up a little bit off the ground, but that's inevitable. You can't, it's just, it defies the laws of physics to be able to keep your feet planted like that while the other half of your body is trying to 
fight directions. So just try to keep your feet as planted to the ground as possible. If they do come up, just try to push them back down as quick as possible. But um, I feel great after that ab workout. If, if your abs aren't feeling warm and you're not feeling like winded after that, you didn't do it right. <laughs> So in the next workout, I'm going to use one of my favorite tools for calisthenics, and this is called an ab roller. You guys have seen this before in my previous workout videos, but I love this thing. I swear by this thing. I use it almost every time I go to the gym, and um, it's just a great way to extend your body, stretch, while also working out your abdominal muscles and your tricep muscles. So let me show you guys how I do these ab rollers. We're gonna do two sets of 20. And I'm not gonna do the three directional ab rolls, I'm just gonna do a straight forward and show you guys the easiest way to do it. So here we go. Now, you're gonna wanna keep your legs as shoulder width apart, feet on the ground, tiptoes on the ground, and we're gonna extend forward. Now when you're doing this, you don't want to be arching your butt like that. You don't want to be like, like all that. You want to try to keep your back and your spine as straight as possible and you want to utilize your ab muscles to keep you up, to pull you up, to push you back, to keep you up, to push you back. You don't want to use your arms, you don't want to use your back because it can result in injury. It's not good. So watch how I do this guys. As you guys can see, I was keeping my back as straight and linear as possible. Now I do have a slight curvature to my lower back, but the most important thing when using the ab roller is keeping your back straight because it really, it really works to utilize all of the necessary muscles that this thing was invented to use. So guys, two sets of 20 of the ab rollers and I'm gonna finish up my final set and then we'll get into the final phase of my at-home workout routine. complete our workout we are going to do a couple easy stretches just to kind of finish off our body and hopefully you guys will be feeling amazing after this workout but let me show you some final stretches that I like to do when I'm finishing up a workout so one of the main stretches I like to do is leading with the leg taking the opposite leg stretching it as far over and then keeping your shoulder blades flat on the ground and facing the opposite direction that your foot is pointing. Hold that for 10 seconds and then do the other side. We'll do a, this one. Do kind of like a split and then just reach as far out into the middle as you can and hold that for 10 seconds. Stretch your arms out. Circles. Do big circles, small circles. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This was my at home workout, and I hope you guys can take away a couple pointers from this video and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my upcoming videos. Alright guys, well, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.